Hey, what's up guys? This is Foryam again, back with a new Minecraft Dungeons tutorial. In today's how-to video, I will show you guys how to get rid of those pesky creepers. They can be insanely annoying during your travels and adventures. So today guys, I will show you some tactics that allow you to get rid of them quite easily, both ranged and in close quarter combat. Guys, also definitely make sure you hit that like button if you enjoy watching my content and also subscribe for more because a lot more Minecraft Dungeons is coming your way. Right now, we're gonna check out those five ways, so guys, let's get right to it. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take creepers down with wild rage and this is actually my favorite way to deal with them because this will allow you to shoot a creeper and then it will actually explode against his allies. It will simply destroy every single mob around them which is really great fun and of course if you're shooting in a big pack of creepers that's a beautiful explosion guys. <laughs> Now this second tactic is a little bit trickier guys because this doesn't always work. What you're gonna do is search for a creeper and then activate your love amulet. And this will actually charm the creeper so then it will be your friend and it will actually walk towards enemies and explode right there straight away. And guys, definitely be careful with this one because most of the times it will work perfectly fine. But right here I managed to screw up pretty big time. So I tried two creepers but at the same time I was flanked by another mob and this is what happened. And this is where something pretty funky happened guys, for real, look at this. So I trumped a creeper and a couple of baby zombies and what are they doing right here? They're actually dancing together. In the end though, the creeper crashed the party, so unfortunate business for these small buddies, but this was really awesome to see. And then guys, as third tactic, this is also what I recommend you to take on your very first Minecraft Dungeons playthrough. Stun artifacts. First off, we have the Light Feather. This one has a pretty short cooldown, allows you to jump around like a ninja and stun enemies on the go. But if you're looking for something that can definitely get the job done, go for the Shock Powder. This one can have a stun duration of over 7 seconds. Of course, the cooldown is a little bit longer, but these two artifacts for sure will allow you to deal with those creepers without a problem. In my opinion, this is the safest way to deal with them if you don't have arrows left. Then on number 4 guys we have protection. At a certain point you run into a level outgeared and look at that, boom, creeper simply one shot you. All hail the Ironhide Amulet. This one provides a major boost to defense for a did I just reach short time? Well guys, this one allows you to soak up all the damage from bosses and creepers. Even enchanted creepers guys will not stand a chance. So if you are going for your first playthrough, this is also an item which I definitely recommend to take with you. And if you're not a big fan of sacrificing your favorite artifacts or simply don't find an Ironhide Amulet in time, well guys, there is good news. All you have to do is get your hands on the potion barrier enchantment and this one actually reduces the damage done to you for a couple seconds by 90% so this will make you the juggernaut of juggernauts you can just simply walk into a pack of creepers and they will only tickle you definitely something to look after if you want a little bit more tankiness and then last but not least guys, this is actually a tactic that doesn't require you to have any arrows, special enchantments or artifacts. This is simply perfect timing. So what you're gonna do is wait for the creeper when he is about to explode and then you're gonna simply roll away. And you can also combine this with some speed artifacts that allow you to move around a little bit faster. And the funny thing is, there is even a special totem with a creeper game in Dingy Jungle. If you activate this one, creepers will keep spawning all over the place. At the end, a chest will spawn, but this is a very nice trial in order to learn dodging those creepers. For my hardcore survival series, this was definitely a pass, but uh, if you have the time and if you want to put your skills to the test, this is actually great fun. And that is actually pretty much everything for the fifth tactic. Oh, and guys, while you're in Dinky Jungle, definitely make sure to visit our Ocelot friends. These bad boys are not big fans of creepers. I even managed to get my hands on a spawn right here with the uh, fire trail, burning, and also quick. So it was a pretty funky Ocelot spawn which I saw right here. But if you actually get the creepers close to these cute little cats, well, they will actually destroy them. They don't like creepers at all. Just like in the real Minecraft, cats are a very nice thing to prevent creepers. 
All right, so guys, thank you so much for watching. These are pretty much all the creative ways I can think of in order to deal with those creepers if you don't want to always use your arrows. If you're going for your very first playthrough, I definitely recommend to get your hands on that iron hide amulet and also maybe a potion barrier. Or if you want to stun mobs, then the light feather and the shockwave are really awesome options. But seriously, these are quite some ways in order to deal with them. Guys, thanks a lot for watching once more. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if this video was useful for you and also subscribe if you want to check out more Minecraft dungeons. I am also working on this Minecraft server so if you are interested in that one check it out in the description down below and guys I'll see you very soon. Right now it is 4am out.